DJ Pro has an amazing built-in looper that's basically a beat making software inside one of the best DJ softwares. So to access this feature, there's a couple of ways. So the first way is going to be in classic mode. Now you'll just see these two turntables. Classic mode, I like to use for uh, DJ tricks, turntablism, scratching, because you get these big, cool, old school record decks. But if you wanted to use your looper in this mode, you press this button up here, and then now we're in our looper. This is the most limited way to control the looper, and I don't recommend using it because you could only pick one of each of the different columns of loops. So we got kicks, percussions, and then you could change to different loop packs. You have a play button, a pause button, and a BPM. But if you like to use the looper, I wouldn't use it in this section because it's limited. So the next two are going to be in the actual looper mode and pro mode. So I'm going to show you the difference. So pro mode to access it, the same thing in these buttons here. Now we have a six by eight column. So there's six different kicks, six different percussions. The first two are going to be the kicks, percussions. The third is going to be like the tops. So these are like the drum beat. And then you got the bass and effects over here. Different different packs are gonna are gonna are gonna have different instruments and different stuff over here, but most of them are gonna be similar with these first three. And you can change them down here. Volume and BPM is the same. And then there's this button here. What this does is when you choose one, so let's say we chose, if you press this, you could control the volume on the one you selected, but now you can't change which one it is. So that's one of the biggest difference between in pro mode and in the dedicated looper mode. So this is a whole mode dedicated to the looper and the sampler. But we'll talk about the sampler in a different video. So the loopers here, the only difference is you get to see the full thing and then you get to control the volumes, which I really don't adjust these volumes that much. So if you plan on using the looper, I would recommend staying in pro mode because you could see that we're missing our waveforms. We're missing a lot of features up here and we don't really get much extra except for these little volume sliders. So let's go to pro mode and this is where I'll recommend using a looper and where I'll continue the tutorial. So in pro mode, so to choose your sample pack is gonna be here. You probably won't see all these because you have to download them. They are free. And there's different one there. The, I like the retro 80. I like the funk hop, hip hop fusion. There's EDM, pretty much any genre you could think of. Let's do retro 80 because it's cool. So now to create a beat, it is going to have the BPM set at where it recommends at, at where it is in the pack. So this pack is 110 BPM. Electro swing is 128. So keep that in mind, what type of music you want to blend it in if you plan on playing tracks while you're using this. So now to set a loop, you you simply just t press the box and it's gonna keep it in the BPM. So it doesn't matter really where you press it. So to do a simple drum beat, we're gonna, we're gonna select three of these from the left to right. So, so now we have a simple drum beat. So if you just wanted to make a simple drum beat to scratch with, you could do it like that. So there we go. And then now we are gonna add some bass to it. So now we have a pretty cool retro 80s techno. And now I'm going to show you what I'm going to cycle through some of these effects to see what, what the options are. Pretty cool. We have some effects there. Now we have sequences. Again, these are going to be different for different looper packs. And you could see that they have different lines. So this one has smaller lines, so it's going to be smaller. This one only has four. And then these ones are full circle, so it's going to be different types of loops. So listen to this one that has a lot. And then I'll play this one that only has one. All right, let's set a drum beat back. Now we'll do the leads. Now the last section, some of these packs are gonna have vocals and then others are gonna have like more effects and stuff. So that is how you're gonna use the looper in this amazing software. And if you wanna learn how to use the sampler, which they go really well together, check out this video over here.